So the patient will be like this, okay? It will be lying like this. Okay. So nearly oh, half already today. Yeah, nearly half prepared for you. Okay. 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 So we will verbalize it, right? That, uh, that I ideally I will prepare my patient and drape. So okay. this is called the drape. Okay? okay. So what you need to do is uh, you need to uh, there will be the empty pots, okay. Um there used to be we used to have the yeah, sir, have kidney uh, Sir, can you please do it with this? Because we don't know when to uh, attach the bag no, no. and what to do. There was a plastic sense. box. Yeah. It's okay. Yes, yes. And uh, we have the stickers in this. Um, okay, so there will be stickers, just empty. Okay, there will be gauze in there, there will be some stickers, straightening fluid for cleaning. Okay, there will be a saline flush for the catheter. Okay, just empty stones. So you need to pick that, and you need to to verbalize that you are using two uh, you are using double gloves. Okay, okay. and uh, with the double gloves, you need to change the gloves after you have uh, cleaned the patient. So the top layer should be taken off. Okay, the patient is uh, nearly ready. What you need to do is. Um, so do we need to clean this part too, the thighs? Let me tell you. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, so. The patient is already covered, okay. You do not need to clean anything else, okay. Just throw this on the penis and hold it, okay. okay? Hold with your one hand, and there will be the cotton rules three or four little balls on the bottom, okay, like this. So, you need to clean that at least three times. There will be sticker, uh, straightening uh, fluid for cleaning. What you need to do is that will be just a sticker, no fluid actually. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So you, with one hand, you hold it from the top. With the other hand, you dip it and clean just a tip. Okay. Yeah. okay. So moving backwards, going towards the glands. Okay. In so starting, out. starting yeah. from the knee, I guess. Okay. So starting from the meatus. Clean it in a circular fashion, going backwards, okay. Okay. like this. That goes in the bin, and then you take one more, dip it, and you need to every time you you're going to clean, you need to pretend that you're dipping. Okay. So dip it in the water, clean it, keep going back, going back, again the third one, dip it. Three times. Okay, three times. And now is the time for you to insert the gel. Okay? Insert the gel. There will be another syringe straightening gel for catheterization. Or there may be a little sachet as this one for the gel. Okay? If they're using um, single use. Okay? So sometimes they, they give the sachet, sometimes there may be empty syringe. Okay? So you are now single glove. You have taken off the first glove. No, not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay. So still, I have two two pairs of gloves on my hands. One on the top of each other. Okay. Insert the gel inside. Okay. And what if we have the sachet? Insert the gel inside with this. Okay. If you have the sachet, then you open on your palm. Okay. okay. All right. Okay. But mention that ideally, I will uh, use the instilla gel. Okay. Or the other way is that after you open the catheter, you just squeeze it on the tip of the catheter. Okay. So this is another thing that you can do. Now you uh, you have cleaned and you have uh, lubricated it. And the penis is ready to take the catheter. At this point, you are going to remove the top layer. Okay. So mention that. Now I will change my gloves or mention that I will remove the top layer. So that I can insert the catheter. Catheter is a um, prosthetic device. It's an external device that you're going to insert into the patient. So we should not use the same gloves that we used to prepare the patient. We need to use a new pair of gloves for that. Okay. So that's why it is important 
that you remove the top layer and hold it from here. Now, so I want you to show you how to do it. You will, this simulation is much better than what you will get in the GMC. Okay? There's no, no stuff. No. So, I want her to see as well. Okay. So, uh, when you are preparing the patient, when you're preparing all the material, it is important that you open this and pull it from the side and throw this catheter in your clean area. Okay. You will see when feed. Okay. So, it is there now in the sterile field. Okay. Now we have prepared, cleaned, uh, lubricated. This is the time to, to insert the catheter. What we need to do is uh, change the top layer, remove the top layer or change the gloves and hold it with your one hand slightly from the, away from the tip. Okay. And on the catheter, you will see the piercing here. Okay. Okay, so what you do is you pull that apart. This is uh, slightly hard for me. Okay. okay, so you pull it apart at all. Okay, if you have the gel, so insert just lubricate it with the gel by squeezing it and warm the patient and insert it. Okay, insert only the exposed area, then you slide the covering back, hold it, pinch it and insert it, slide the covering back, pinch it, insert it, okay, until it goes to the Y junction, okay, which means until it goes fully inside, okay, so in the mannequins, it can be difficult. In the actual patient, real patient, you insert it up to the wild junction. Okay. Okay. So, um, in the mannequin, when you start feeling the resistance, you should stop. Okay. Then you take it out. Hardly you should be able to see the urine coming out if uh, the mannequin is connected to the tank. Well, sometimes it may be, or sometimes I don't connect it. Okay. If you have gone and you are feeling the resistance, you can ask your examiner that am I expected to be getting a urine out or not? Okay. I feel the catheter is inside and uh, am I expected to get the urine out? Okay. And after that, what you do is uh, you just simply take, you need to see the urine coming out. Okay. You can take this catheter tray for the urine spill. Okay. okay. And then you flush it and uh, use a flush, okay, to inflate the bottle. Okay, and this goes uh, in the back. Okay, so that's all done. And you clean it, and before you rip it out, your examiner will say, do not rip it, leave it there. Okay, uh, so this is what we need to do. After that, explain to the patient that we need to do for the test. Okay, we need to check your kidney functions, look for any infection, as well as check the urine for any infection. Okay, and based on what I could find on the blood on the blood cells and the urine result, I'll come and speak to you. Okay, the patient may ask, um, is the catheter coming out? No. Okay because there is a risk that you can develop the um, obstruction again yes. and uh, when can this come out you are going to refer the patient to the nurse-led clinic called walk clinic okay and walk, walk. Try. So not necessarily if the patient is stable okay you can send the patient home with the catheter at the same time refer the patient to the your okay. okay they will see as and when what you need to do is explain the red flags. What the red flags are if you start getting fever, okay, worsening pain if the catheter blocks, if it starts leaking, if you see mm -hmm. any blood clots, mm -hmm. okay, come back to us. That's the safety method.
Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. The warming agent and lubricating gel are two different things. That's the same thing. 